I'm Chef Scotty Johnson of Blessed and Highland Faith Cuisine, Private Chef Service, right here in Warner Robins, Georgia, the middle of Georgia area. So, welcome to today's episode. And today we're going to be cooking some type of comfort food, um, which everybody has a different comfort food. But today we're going to focus on chicken. And when I say chicken, we're going to focus on a chicken breast, okay? But we're going to do a little something different to the chicken. All right, we're going to stuff the chicken breast, okay? And right here I have uh, what we call mise en place in the culinary world. All right, uh, these are my veggies, which I'm gonna show you how I'm just gonna quick uh, grill those uh, broccolinis. But here's the chicken breast, okay? These are the nice size chicken breasts, and we're gonna cut those babies open, and we're gonna stuff them. I got cream cheese that's at room temperature right here. Uh, I got some spinach, all right? That's got a little red pepper flakes in it. It's gonna give you a little spice, okay? Uh, these are the uh, sun-dried uh, tomatoes right here that's gonna go inside the, uh, the stuffing parsley and this is uh, my house seasoning butter and this is a uh, vermouth wine with chicken stock which is going to give you a, a broth make a broth so first thing we're going to do um i want to incorporate uh, my cream cheese with my uh with my spinach and also with the uh with the peppers all right the peppers have been soaking in oil it's like a little chili uh a little green chili oil that's been uh, soaking in there with that so uh, we're going to take that and we're going to mash it up together Sometimes better just use your hands, okay? We use our hands, okay? But like I say, make sure you got it room temperature, okay? Room temperature that way you can move it and work with it better. But just basically just incorporating, okay? Just incorporate it. All right. Sometimes your best tools are your hands. Um, and, uh, which your grandma always told you. You see your grandma cooking in there. She's using her hands or everything. Sometimes she got her hands picking up hot pans and pots. I wonder how she does it. But, uh, but they do it. Make it happen, okay? So... Like I say, get that, get that incorporated in there, okay? And this can be a little messy, but once you get that incorporated, all right? Like I say, just don't have to incorporate where just get it all blended, okay? And we're gonna let that sit. All right, let me wash my hands for a minute. And so next thing we have to do, we're going to, uh, we gotta cut our chicken opener. So uh, uh, knife has been sharpened, of course. And if you come on this side, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, it's basically, I'm going to take a knife and um, butterfly the chicken open, okay? Uh, just take a little decision knife and just baby this with the tip of my knife. Just put a little, a little well inside of it, okay? Just enough to get your cheese incorporated in, okay? All right, we got one. All right, that's the knife. Take it, just cut it, tip your knife. Pull back as you're cutting it. Uh, make sure you're careful of your hands, okay? Basically, just putting the well in there. All right, and see how deep that is? A little pocket, okay? And we got three chicken breasts. So we're doing just a, it's like I said, nice size chicken breasts. Uh, uh, you can use these thighs, uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs if you want, okay? And now uh, flatten them out, and you can do a, a, a rule out with it. Uh, Open them up, okay. But this base is chicken breast, okay. This gonna this gonna cook kind of quick, okay. So not too not too deep, but just enough to get the cheese in you, okay. So once that's done, okay, then we're gonna take them. All right, put them on my cutting board. Okay, I'm gonna stuff these with some uh, with the cheese, okay. With the uh, the mixture that we have right here. So basically, open it up. Put that in there. I said this has got uh, spinach, cream cheese, and um, roasted. Uh, these are sun-dried tomatoes that's inside them. Okay, sun-dried tomatoes have been sitting in a little olive oil and, and green chili. Put as much as you like because this cheese is going to melt inside, based on the size of your chicken. All right, get that in there, incorporated in there. Like I say, you can, you can also throw some seasoning in your mixture if you want. Um, that way you got flavors on top of flavors. Let's put some more in there. And based on the size of your chicken breast, like these are kind of big. Uh, it's what you're going to, um, how long you will cook it, okay? All right, and you can stuff chicken breast with whatever you want, okay? But we're stuffing it with the uh, cream cheese right there. All right, I want to, I'm going to season the chicken because we can't just cook chicken. I want some seasoning on So basically, I got some olive oil. It's gonna rub it down with a little olive oil, okay? And that's gonna help my seasoning stick to it, okay? Okay, just basically rub it down. 
All right, so we got that. All right, then I have my seasoning, okay? This is like I say, a house seasoning, okay? Basically, uh, salt, pepper, garlic, uh, and a little uh, bit of seasoning in there as well. You can make your own house seasoning. Onion powder, uh, salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, powder, and the Cajun seasoning, whatever you want, okay? Basically, just season it uh, thoroughly, okay? You want, you want some flavor inside your chicken, okay? Season that. Alright, so we're gonna season it liberally, okay? Alright. Alright. This is a little pink Himalayan salt, okay? Just to top it off, pink Himalayan salt, cracked black pepper. Alright, cracked black pepper, okay? Which is always best, okay? What I like. Okay, so that's done. So basically, my pan has been preheated, alright? And so we are we're gonna take the chicken breast, okay? And like I so said, you already have this done, it's already been prepared. So uh pan's been preheated, alright. When it gets to how you know your pan's preheated when the a rule of thumb when it starts smoking, which it already started smoking, it's been preheated. So put a little more olive oil in there, just a little bit, about a tablespoon or two, okay? Alright, give a little whirl. Okay, so now I want to just place my chicken breast inside of it. Alright. And you hear that nice little sizzle, okay? You know, that's, you got it nice preheated, okay? Same thing. Put that in there. All right, let's put another one in there. Okay, so we go at three. All right, if you got a big one, you can put four in there, but you don't want to crowd it too much, okay? So I want that to sizzle cook, okay? And also, uh, you know, when you got uh, meat, you want to make sure you season both sides. So basically, I'm just going to put some more salt on that back side of it, okay? Some more ground, fresh ground black pepper. Fresh black pepper, okay? And those, I want those on center because I want them to brown, okay? And then I'll uh, top it with a little more that house. And basically that's gonna sit for about maybe three, four minutes because I want to get it nice brown, okay? Nice brown, we're gonna turn it over. And I want you to see once you turn it over. So uh, I'll let that sit for a little bit. And um but uh let this cook about three or four minutes. So yeah, uh this is uh like some nice little comfort food that you can cook. Uh take a chicken breast I and mean, there's a lot of different ways that you can cook chicken, okay? So you can fry, you know, pan it, whatever, but I want to stuff it. So just a little twist to it. Open up stuff in it, whatever cheese is you like, whatever type of uh, vegetables you want, spinach, you can use kale, uh, you can use collard greens. You can do a collard green stuffed chicken, okay? Whatever you like, but we're going to stuff it whatever flavors you like, okay? Uh, so I when y'all turn this over, you're going to see it's going to get a little brown, okay? But I'm letting that sit for a minute. Over here, these are little broccoli, okay? Similar to the broccoli family, but you see it has a longer stem on it. But you, you look at the top, the leaves on it, okay? Just like broccoli, but this is broccoli. Uh, some people eat this as a snack. Just eat it raw like this, but we're not going to do that, okay? We're just going to quick uh, grill these on top of the stove. You can take them to your, um, your grill outside, but we're going to use it inside the stove, okay? So this has been pretty as well. Alright, so I'm kind of multitasking, okay? A lot of people know the chef, you multitask. So once the chicken is sitting on top, let's move over to the broccoli, okay? Everybody brought me little vegetables, are good for you. This right here is really clean, it's really great, good for you, okay? So let's move over here, alright? Like I say, this has been preheated, alright? We're gonna throw a little more olive oil in there. Cut the tablespoon. All right. Now, when the broccoli goes in, because this, you know, this has water, you know, it has the water, so be careful. All right, because it's gonna make sure the oil doesn't splash on you, pops on you, stuff like that. So basically, I'm gonna get a nice little chow on them, okay? Just let those cook down. All right. Let those cook down, okay? And we're gonna flip them. You can see they're gonna have a nice little chow on them, okay? Now let's come back to the chicken. All right, so basically I'm gonna turn this chicken over, okay? Let's go to the big piece. 
You see, the nice brown topping, that's what I want. Nice brown top. See that? Nice brown top. Look at that. That's what you want. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for. The nice brown top on there. Eventually, we're going to throw this in the oven and let it cook, okay? Let it cook, but when I pour I want to cook, I'm going to take that, uh, take a little bit of butter. I'm going to throw some butter in there. Alright? Throw a little butter in there. Let's get that butter incorporated with it, okay? And, um, basically we're going to take this butter. Alright, and we're going to kind of Taste our chicken a little bit, all right? Get that little butter flavor in there. All right. Taste the chicken, get that butter flavor in there, okay? And got all this seasoning there, okay? All right, so basically, you see how the broccoli, broccolini, okay? Get a little char on there, that's what I want, that little char on there, okay? Get that little char on there, okay? Because like I said, it don't take long for the cook, you want it kind of al dente, all right? We'll get that char on there and let it cook. All right, and we're gonna season it last with salt, pepper, and basically that's it. You know, you throw a little garlic, whatever you want on there, that's fine, okay? So we're gonna let that continue to cook a little bit. And um, now this is what I call, I say, this is uh, basically, it's a, uh, this is gonna be like my little broth. It's Vermont um, wine and it's got chicken stock. So basically, gonna pour this in there. All right, and not to cover the chicken, but just to probably go up one fourth or halfway up, okay. One fourth halfway up. All right. And you can smell that that wine from that that, that vermouth wine, vermouth wine, and then it's got the chicken stock in there. That's gonna create you know, a broth and a sauce, okay. So what I do, I want to cover this up in the oven. All right. The oven's been preheated to a 350, okay. So we're gonna cover that up. We're gonna put it in the oven, and you see my broccoli still cooking. Like I said this is pretty much done, okay. Uh, you got, that's what you little straw on there, okay? You see that little straw on there, okay? That's what you want. Uh, so basically cut it off, because that's pretty much how I want it done, okay? Always, I take it. A little butter. Get this with a little butter. A little butter makes everything better, okay? Incorporate it in there. Of course. Again. Salt. Pepper. Salt and pepper. Alright. That's gonna give a lot of flavor, okay? So basically these are done, okay? It's gonna take you uh put it on the size, maybe about 20, 25 minutes, okay, uh 30 at the top. So just check it, you know, the antenna temperature needs to be 165. You can't deviate from chicken. Alright, so uh Basically, our broccoli is has, uh, is done. Got a little charred uh, uh, color on it. Okay, it's got a little charred taste on it. All right, so that's good. Salt, pepper. You can throw garlic and um, onion powder, however you want it. Um, but that's done. Chicken's done. Okay, we had some of the other cooking, but this is one already done. So we're gonna plate it right now for you. Okay. So basically, uh, we're gonna take this over here. Okay. And um, let's go with this one. All right, basically you have, you see all the cheese that's coming out of it, okay? You got the cheese. Okay, um, then what I want to do, I want to take some of this, this broth, okay, that's, that's, that's been cooking there with the Vermont wine, just gonna, let's put that over there, okay? All right, get that wine, all right? All right, that's got a lot of flavor in there, okay? A lot of flavor. All right, the next, okay, just top it off um, with some broccolini, okay? Top it off with a little broccolini. Okay, and like I say, whatever uh, starches you want on there, you can put starch and mashed potatoes, you can do uh, roasted potatoes, you can do uh, whatever starch you want, rice, it's up to you. Sprinkle it with a little parsley. Okay, and then uh, what I like to do for a little color, 
Okay, I take some smoked paprika and put on here. A little smoked paprika. A little dust on there. Give it a little color. Okay. And there you have it. Okay. Um, this today's this is your stuffed chicken breast stuffed with uh, cream cheese, spinach, and sun-dried tomatoes and grilled char grilled broccolini okay a nice little comfort food dish for you quick simple and has a little broth for you so thanks for uh, tuning in to an episode we're here cooking with chef scotty again chef scotty johnson of blessing holly faith cuisine private chef services right here in uh, warner robins georgia the middle of georgia area okay uh, you can follow him on social media um facebook is blessed and holly flavor cuisine private chef services my youtube channel is scotty a johnson with ie and also Instagram, Scotty J. Okay, so follow me uh, and stay tuned for the next episode. Everyone be blessed and have a great day. And we'll see you next time here.